let's talk for just a second about culling frames. So it's a pretty common practice in beekeeping to take old frames uh, that are really, really dark, dark old comb and remove them from the hive, throw them away and then replace it with new frames. And most, it, it should be a common practice in every beekeeping, uh, bee yard, apiary, etc. And usually the rule of thumb is every five to 10 years, you wanna replace the frames in a hive because those frames attract, you know, they, 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 are, uh, they absorb chemicals, they absorb debris, they absorb all sorts of things. Uh, and we don't want that in our hive uh, to build up too much over the years. And the, the older the comb gets, the more those residues build up and can risk damaging the hive. And so a great practice is to get on a rotation schedule where um, every year you're removing just a couple frames out of the hive. Um, that way it's not like you're replacing everything all at once, but every year you pull out a couple of the oldest frames and throw them away, replace them with foundation. The winter time is a really good time to do that as long as those frames are empty. And so I'm gonna show you guys in a hive how I do it um, to kind of create those empty frames over the course of the winter. So that by late winter, the oldest, darkest frames uh, don't have any resources in them and I can pull them out, throw them away and replace them with that new foundation. So here's, here's how I do it. So when I'm going through my hives, really any time of year, I'm looking for the oldest frames. And so here I've got a brood box and you can kind of see, let me adjust that a bit there. You can kind of see that, you know, okay, here's a pretty dark older frame. You can tell even just by the wood color that it's an older frame, but let's, let's take a closer look. And really just because comb is brown or dark in color doesn't mean it's bad. You know, comb gets pretty dark pretty fast, but you can see this one is, is pretty, pretty old. You can even see they've worn off the foundation, the, the wax. There's no wax here anymore. This is a really old, really, really old frame that I would kind of like to get rid of. It's got lots of flaws, lots of blemishes. Um, I know it's old because I can look at the wood and tell that, wow, that is really old wood. Uh, and so I want to get rid of it. But it's, as you can see, it's full of honey. So I don't want to just throw it away. Now I could set this outside the hive, let the bees rob all the resources out of it and put a new frame in the hive. But then all the bees in the neighborhood take part in this honey and this hive might need that honey. So I'd rather leave it in the hive. So as you saw, this old dark frame was right in the middle of the hive. And so what I do is I just scoot it over a couple spots. Now I don't want it all the way to the outside because the bees often arrange the hive the way they do for a reason. So I just scoot it over a couple of spots. And then my next ins inspection, you know, let's say a month later, I'm gonna scoot it over another spot and then another spot um, so that eventually that frame is on the very outside edge of the hive. And then by the end of winter, the bees have consumed a lot of the resources and those frames will often be emptied of honey and I can just pull it out and throw it away. Um, you can do the same thing with brood. You don't wanna just take a frame of brood and shove it all the way to the outside, but you can move it a few frames towards the outside each inspection until eventually it's all the way to the outside um, over a period of time. And, uh, and then if let's say spring comes and they still haven't eaten all the honey out of the frame, at that point, I wouldn't mind pulling it out, letting the bees rob it out. Um, I'm much more apt to do that in the springtime uh, when the bees don't need the resources quite as bad uh, than, than early in the winter. So it's a really simple kind of rotation process. And so every time you're in inspecting a hive, the older frames start moving more to the outside um, and you've always got the newer frames in the, in the center. When you're inserting that brand new frame of foundation, you wanna put them on the outside edge generally or one frame in. You don't wanna put it right in the middle and break up that brood nest. The new frames of foundation can go right out here um, or right in between these outside frames. And then that kind of starts your rotation process over again.